G'day viewers, the end of another week means it's time once more for Totally Fucked Up Friday. And I'm doing my best on getting fucked up. Don't worry, I'm drinking from a glass the size of my head. And if you knew the size of my head, you'd know that's no mean feat. Um, it's healthy. It's got fruit in it. What's vodka made from? Potato? That's a fruit, isn't it? Vitamins, I'm sure, exist in here. Anyway, let's talk about what's fucked up. But before we do, a brief revisit of last week, when, among other things, I spoke to you about the Ukraine and the troubles there and what might end up happening. Would uh, the President Viktor Yanukovych uh, agree to, uh, you know, sort of cede power or at least let people have elections? Well, about within 24 hours of me sharing that with you, he was gone. He was on the run. He was on the losing side and he was gone. Now, I'm not saying that's all down to me. That would be like claiming I was God. And I'm not God. I'm God-like. I have powers, okay? But I don't want to overstate them. And I do want to say that I will only use them in moderation and for good. You know, just because I've now discovered I have the power to remove the leaders of countries who deserve it, I'm not going over the top. But that Tony Abbott, he's a cunt, isn't he? He needs to get gone. Man, only half of that went in my mouth. It's late. Anyway, uh, Australia, I was talking about, I really need to deconstruct everything that's fucking wrong with the Australian government at the moment. And one of the highlights slash lowlights is uh, the treatment of asylum seekers, uh, boat people they're sometimes called, refugees, people seeking refugee status uh, coming from war-torn countries. And uh, successive governments of uh, both stripes in Australia have been competing with each, other, with each other to show who can be the biggest prick uh, to asylum seekers. Uh, going back to the 90s and John Howard, who worked out he could appeal to ignorant bogan fuckwits by saying, ooh, they're bad, they throw their children overboard. Ooh, they're terrorists, they've got to throw... There is no lie that's been too big because a disturbing chunk of the populace has swallowed every lie that's been fed to them and a truly appalling uh, media has regurgitated most of this bullshit. And when both sides of politics are doing it, you're kind of stuck with, it's like, wow, they're like racing to see who can be the most horrible. Who can take people who are fleeing war-torn countries, who've seen their families murdered, raped, tortured, and who can treat them so bad they would actually prefer that to trying to come to Australia. That's 50 kinds of fucked. And uh, there's been a detention centre set up in Papua New Guinea on Manus Island, uh, and things have gone all sorts wrong. We don't exactly know what's wrong because the government is doing a combination of suppressing the truth and lying and then being found out in their lies. Uh, at least one of the asylum seekers was murdered. Uh, several others were seriously injured. And it's a little bit grey exactly what happened because, like I said, suppression of truth, censorship, lies. That's kind of fucked. And, yeah, it's one of those things like one of the most insightful... Uh, political cartoons I saw on this was referring to Australia as Wolf Creek Nation and as drawing like the uh, character, the killer from Wolf Creek on a boat towing away some asylum seekers in there begging, ah, your boat's broken there. Well, I think for your own safety, I should give you a tow. And I, ah, ah, no, no, I'm sad because that's my country and that's accurate. And I'm sad now. And I, well, maybe this isn't everyone. And then there was yet another racist attack on a bus caught on someone's camera phone. These young women abusing an old man. And there's a bit of back and forth, but the short version was they were horrible and drunk and violent and abusive to many people on the bus. And the one bit I'm having real trouble wrapping my head around. So it's not, I don't have trouble wrapping my head around some people are racist. I don't have trouble wrapping my head around some people are stupid. I, yeah, I know these things. But what I have trouble wrapping my head around, and I, I oh look, I suppose the excuse they're going to come up with is they were drunk. They'd been at the races and they're all dressed up in their slutty finery and they're drunk. And 
how do you figure you're getting away with this shit? This is what I don't understand. When someone does something stupid, vile, detestable, criminal, in public, and it's like, they don't think they're going to be answerable for it. That's the bit I can't wrap my head around. The people are that fucked, they don't think they have to answer for their actions. And then I see the politicians around the world, the military, the police, the people in power around the world, abusing their position and never answering for their crimes, for their lies, for their corruption, for their wrongdoing. Oh, I think I know where the role models are. So, honestly, after the shit I've been seeing this week, I really needed to see somewhere that was more fucked up and more contemptible than Australia. Uganda. Thank you, Uganda. It's sad when you're going to clutch at straws till I find someone worse than my country. Uganda passed very severe anti-gay laws, criminalising homosexuality, uh, encouraging people just in the street to beat up and murder gay people, but also institutionalising that, you know, it's a criminal offence to be gay, which is just insane. Uh, and it's not just... Look, it's not just that I support equal rights, human rights for everyone, no matter what their sexual persuasion is, no matter what their gender or sexual identity is. It's just crazy. And look, again, the thing that must make uh, Christians, uh, decent Christians, who are the majority, but they tend not to be the ones in power, must make them cringe. Uh, one of the worst aspects was a guy who's called the Reverend... Um, can't do two air quotes when I'm holding this. The Reverend Simon Lakoto, I think is how you pronounce his name. And he has the weird title. He's the Minister for Ethics and Integrity. And he has neither. And it's like no other government has someone with that role. The one government that says, hey, let's decree someone Minister for Ethics and Integrity. They just have no ethics or integrity. He was actually talking to Stephen Fry for a show and saying like, why homosexuality is so bad. He said, even uh, child rape, like men raping little girls, is preferable to adult consensual, consensual homosexual sex because it was natural. And it was so jarring, Stephen Fry actually said to him, do you know that was on camera? Do you know the cameras were running? And the guy goes, yeah, because well, please explain to me what you meant to say. What I meant to say is a man raping a little girl is heterosexual, and so that's better than two adult males or two adult females having sexual relations. And that is another example of, you are so lucky your magic sky fairy bullshit is bullshit, because you would be condemned to burn in the worst corner of hell if that shit actually existed. One of those times I wish I could believe this insane magical thinking bullshit because this fucking piece of shit would get punished for eternity. Sadly, that doesn't happen, but hopefully come through. And it's not just the morally contemptible stuff like that. It's the flat out stupid stuff. And I need to actually look this up. I saved the web page here and why is this text not bigger? Why don't I have a tablet instead of a phone. I'm having trouble dealing. But I need to actually quote some of this stuff from the Ugandan president. Because there's so much of it. And it's so fucking insane. And it's stupid. It's not just that it's morally contemptible. It's stupid. Saying things like, Okay, uh, okay, I fail to understand that you can be attracted to all these beautiful women. And, and, and he's saying like, it doesn't make sense to not be attracted to women and be attracted to a man instead. Look, first, I think this guy's in massive denial or he's never seen Matthew McConaughey with his shirt off. That's all I'm saying, right? I think he doth protest too much, quite honestly. Because, quite honestly, everyone has different tastes and you have to admit, no matter which gender you're attracted to, there is some member of that gender who just aren't attractive. And some member of the gender that you maybe don't want to do it with, who are physically attractive. If you can't admit that, I think you have some fairly deep-seated issues that need looking at. And as you say, like, okay, if you're attracted to the same gender, there's something wrong with you. And this is where it gets stupid. 
he says, like, the only possible explanation, because it doesn't make sense physically, is money. He's going, like, homosexuals are actually mercenaries. They're, they're in, de in truth, they're heterosexual, because there's no such thing as homosexuals. That's not natural. But because of money, they say they are homosexuals. Uh, that just, you know, I don't... What even is that? I mean, sure, I've you know, heard and understand the line. I'm not gay, but 50 bucks is 50 bucks. But he seems to think that's not a joke, that it's real. And then again, he just says things that are demonstrably untrue, like no study has shown you can be homosexual by nature. Well, you see homosexual activity in dozens, if not more than dozens, of animal species. Are they taking money too? I don't know. And so he's... And now this is the bit that I really can't get at. He's got a particular problem with oral sex. And this is the thing I wanted to point out a few years ago. Texas was in the news for their anti-sodomy laws. I wanted to point out to people, you know, technically, those aren't anti-gay laws. They are anti-anything that isn't penis and vagina. And heterosexual couples had actually been prosecuted for either indulging in oral sex or anal sex. And that's what I don't get. That this shit is so fucking messed up. These people actually... Like, okay, you don't want to have sex with someone of the same gender. I get that. But seriously? You don't like oral sex? Wow. I really can't wrap my head around that. So he's saying... The mouth is for food, not for sex. And then he goes on, it's made for kissing. Kissing's good, but not for sex. And it's the wrong address. It's the wrong location. You know, he's convinced there's just an arbitrary designation. Genitals can only go in one. I don't get this shit. This shit is stupid. Now, now he, he likes to say, you know, that my first concerns were, you know, Defence, security, electricity, the roads. Good on, good on you, buddy. Good on, but now you've cleared all that, so there's no problems with security, crime, infrastructure in Uganda, which is awesome for everyone in Uganda. Not actually true, but anyway. So, you know, finally, I concentrated my mind on it. And he's going, okay. So, he, he thinks the number one problem is those people who are promoting homosexuality and recruiting normal people to it. And I think it is time the gays came clean and admitted you've got a quota, okay? I've, you know, I've been listening. I've heard you whispering to each other. I know you've actually got a quota for conversions, okay? Don't pretend you don't. Just because this makes no sense and is the ravings of a clearly insane fuckwit, you need to prove that you don't have a quota for conversion. Now, see, secondly, he's saying, as a consequence of all these conversions, Many of those recruited are doing it for mercenary reason to get money. So he says, you're not just homosexual. If you're homosexual, you are by definition a homosexual prostitute. I know some lovely homosexual prostitutes. I just thought I'd throw that out there. And he's going, they need to be... Pun so he wants to punish the people who are doing it. He wants the, the recruiters, the recruities. But now he has a problem with number three, the homosexuals exhibiting themselves, advertising they're homosexual. Now, I think the really pertinent bit of all this is when the guy's going, you know what? And then I focused and I've been thinking non-stop about the gays. I've been thinking non-stop about anal sex. I've been thinking non-stop about some strapping, well-muscled young man coming up and converting me to the gay. Possibly giving me money as well. I think that's where you actually understand what's going on. As yeah, virtually every gay person I've ever spoken to has said, you know, the homophobes think about gay sex way more than I do. Like, I'm just sitting there thinking about what's on TV later tonight, and a homophobe, all they're thinking about is dicks in butts and mouths on vaginas, and it's an illness. Like, I think there is an illness here. The illness isn't homosexuality. The illness is homophobia, and all these arguments about, you know, what's natural, what's not. You know, as I say, in the animal kingdom, you can see almost endless examples of homosexual behavior, but you don't see any animals ostracizing 
other animals for homophobic reasons. You only see that in people. The people who have the capacity to think and analyze things don't. And they just act in the most base and disgusting manner. And that is what's totally fucked up. Good Lord. Good Lord.